This girl was just doing her job when suddenly, a loud sound echoed through the whole place. And of course, it was none other than the tiny platelet leader, marching proudly at the front, guiding her squad of the smallest yet bravest workers in the human body. All of them together were carrying this massive box of medical supplies. Well, massive for them. But then, the captain stopped and blew her whistle hard, because right in front of them stood their greatest enemy, the stairs. For these tiny platelets with legs shorter than a pencil eraser, those steps weren't just stairs, they were a mountain. The captain went first, moving carefully, one tiny step at a time, while the red blood cells watched like worried parents. And when she finally reached the bottom safely, she gave the signal. The whole squad followed, stepping down lightly, slowly, and perfectly in sync. And once they reached the bottom, everyone celebrated like they just won the championship. But the celebration didn't last. Out of nowhere, dangerous bacteria stormed into the body. White blood cells instantly rushed in, ready for battle. And despite the chaos, the platelets didn't panic. They came charging out of the tunnels, jumping right into the middle of the fight, not to battle, but to heal. Their leader barked orders left and right, each platelet fixing damaged areas with fresh, healthy cells. And for the final touch, they teamed up with the red blood cells, building a tough protective scab over the wound. And just like that, once again, the tiniest heroes saved the day. 